Everything worked today. The mission scrubbed on Friday because of a computer problem is underway. The space shuttle Columbia with astronauts John Young and Robert Crippen aboard lifted off on time from Cape Canaveral and went into Earth orbit without a hitch. And Frank Reynolds, who kept that long, disappointing vigil on Friday, was most certainly there. Frank? Well, Sam, it's had its problems. A few years behind schedule and more than a few dollars over budget. But today down here, it was a thing of beauty and a joy to behold. Even the computers were speaking to one another. And long before dawn today, there was a strong sense of confidence that when the time arrived, Columbia would go. And go she did. Science editor Jules Bergman, who has seen them all go, takes us through this day in the lives of two soaring astronauts and thousands of relieved workers on the ground. Jules? It began again at the early hour of 2 a.m. The astronauts ate Canadian bacon and eggs for breakfast, then after suiting up, walked down the hall of the crew building, into the transfer van, and finally into the shuttle at pad 39A, exactly as they had last Friday morning. But the atmosphere was as different as the sky was faultlessly clear. Tinges of orange, brown, and black in a rosewood-like color, with little or no wind. You couldn't have had a better day for launching. Five, four, we've gone for main engine start. The brilliant white cloud of smoke from the rockets obscured all from view for a few moments. Then there were no more doubts. Right on schedule, two minutes into the flight, the solid rockets burned out and separated. There it is. There we go. Roger on the step, Columbia. The shuttle's main engines kept burning as planned for another six minutes, providing Bob Crippen with his first view from space. What a view, what a view. Glad you're enjoying it. Then the orbital maneuvering system engines ignited four times, placing the shuttle into the planned 150 nautical mile circular orbit. Even John Young was impressed. Well, the view hasn't changed any. It's really something else. I'll tell you, John has been telling me about it for three years, but ain't no way you can describe it. The first major task, opening and closing the payload bay doors. After a bit of stickiness, they work just fine and live television from the cameras inside the payload bay showed us what they saw in orbit. This view looks backward toward the rear of the Columbia, showing us the vertical fin and rudder, the coverings over the orbital maneuvering system engines, and more than a dozen missing heat tiles. Seven hours into the flight, new TV, and the astronauts had this report. I guess uh, being the so-called rookie on this flight, I had a, a thrill from, from the moment of liftoff all the way up to what we're doing now. It's really been super. The spacecraft has worked as advertised all the way along. Uh, no one is sure, but they don't think the heat tile loss is critical. The Columbia is now cleared for a full 36-orbit flight.